Hello, welcome to Art One. Oh, sorry. <laughs> welcome to Art Two Thirty Four Color Photography One. This is an online asynchronous course, and I'm your professor, Samantha Lenawson. You can call me Samantha, Sam, or Sammy. We're going to go over the syllabus and a little bit of introductory stuff to the course. I will always supply videos with lectures or demos to help you with uh, those completion. So let's start off with the home page on Canvas. Now, Canvas will be where we'll be holding all of our class. Um, I have some important information on the home page, noting that the grading occurs after the late window closes. So you may, may wait a little more than a week to receive uh, the grades for your assignments. Here's some information about Adobe Creative Cloud. We will talk about that. The course calendar is always downloadable. Uh, it's this, this is version one. If it is updated, I will let you know. Lab schedule on campus. And then some information. And here is some information about some free COVID testing. So if we navigate over to modules, you will sort of get the sort, uh, weekly updates of what is in the class and all the modules are separated per week. And they will open at 12 a.m. on Monday, and uh, then you'll be able to access everything. So we'll start off with the first. Um, and we're gonna talk a little bit about what to expect in this class. Um, this is an introduction to color theory, so it's intended for students who do have experience particularly with the digital aspect of the medium. Uh, I'm expecting you to at least have taken Art 142. If you've taken Art 31, you should be good as well. And if you have taken more advanced courses, that is great. So we're gonna talk about the history of color photography, cataloging and manipulating images, and understanding the color processes related to photography. I will talk about both the digital and analog color processes. The class format will have lectures, presentations, demonstrations, discussions, exercises, quizzes, projects, and critiques. This is an arts-based course with the emphasis on engagement with the photography as a visual form of communication. This is not gonna to be too much of a commercial course, so keep that in mind. You will be sort of creating art projects that have connection to some sort of thought, uh, concept, or theme. So in order to make this course a positive experience, we're gonna start off with getting used to this Canvas environment, what is expected of you to be successful. And I want you to spend time getting used to Canvas. You're gonna meet your classmates virtually and you're gonna get used to sort of the course requirements, etc. Again, like I said, the course is broken into weekly modules and they'll open at Monday at midnight and the assignment will be due generally the following Tuesday at 11.59 p.m. This is all Arizona time, because this course is based in Arizona for Phoenix College. Um, so if you are in a different time zone, please adhere to the Arizona time. So generally you will have at least a week to work on assignments, if not more. So when the module opens, you wanna re review each page first. Kinda of look down what is to expected for each week um, and definitely spend time to think about what you need to get started for each week. Uh, make a plan to attack the work. The biggest mistake is when students will wait until the last day and the last minute to complete assignments. Um, you, won't, you are sort of cheating yourself out of the work and those late assignments will have a hit on your grade. So, check Canvas every Monday and kind of make a plan to work on it by bi weekly. Um, I hope you enjoy this class and we're gonna go over the syllabus, which I actually have here as a PDF. You will be able to download the PDF as well. Make this a little bigger. All right, so this is an online format. Uh, this is late start, so Start a week late than other courses. 
Um, to contact me, you can use my email, which is samanthaawson at phoenixcollege.edu or through Canvas Messenger. Uh, Canvas Messenger is probably the best since I get those through my phone um, and I get those fairly quickly. I will try to respond to everything within 48 hours. And if you do send an email, please make the subject title the following, art234-yourname-subject-topic of the email. A lot of times your uh, Maricopa email doesn't let me know, uh, you know, your MEID doesn't tell me who you are. It just gives me some letters and numbers. So definitely include your name and then the subject and topic of the email so that I kind of get a preview of what's going on. You can only contact me through your Maricopa email. If you email me through your personal Gmail, I cannot respond to it. All of our communication has to be through official means, which is either Canvas Messenger or your Maricopa email. A lot of people will try to communicate through the comment section when you turn in assignments um, or when you respond to a grade. A lot of times I do not get this uh, communication and it's not responded to either in a timely manner or at all. So please make sure to email me or use Canvas Messenger. I will not respond to this comment section, not because I don't want to, it's because I often don't get notified of it. I do want you to kind of look up what netiquette is to sort of prep yourself for how you're going, excuse me, prep yourself on how you're going to communicate with me. So we're going to kind of skim through. I am expecting you to read through the syllabus thoroughly. There's no required textbook, but there are some recommendation textbooks. Um, this will definitely kind of help you get some of the background information. The recommended textbooks will uh, be good for your knowledge as a photographer, but they won't necessarily mean that I'm pulling that information for this class. So we are going to have a kind of a page where I kind of dive deeper in the required materials and technologies and the recommended materials and technologies. So um, as we have some various grading details. I am expecting you to adhere to the course, to the assignment uh, instructions. Um, give me what I ask for and not what I don't ask for, if that makes sense. Um, think of me as your client, your editor, and your audience. So you have to satisfy me to get a full grade. It may be a great, photo great photograph that you're submitting, but if it doesn't um, meet the assignment expectations or what I'm asking of you, you will not get the full points for it. Um, and I have to understand what you're communicating. So keep that in mind. You have to, photography is a visual language. You have, you're telling someone something. So make sure it's understandable. Make sure it's not too subtle. We'll talk more about concept and theme and how to really play that into your images. They're all assignments will have a rubric. You cannot uh, double dip. Excuse me. No double dipping, so you can't use assignments uh, from previous work that you've done. Everything has to be unique. I will throw an extra credit out, and there is an option to redo assignments as well. You will submit everything through Google Drive, which I'm sure all of your professors will have various ways to submit for Google Drive. We will uh, go through a demo on how to complete that. Also, I need to have readable EXIF data so I can evaluate your exposure settings. Again, I'll talk about this a little bit more in depth. Um, make sure that you turn in assignments on time. If it's going to be late, there is a penalty. However, if you know something will be late, contact me ASAP and I will work with you uh, the best I can. Um, this is not an open entry, open exit course. Um, there will be weekly module assignments. 
that you should plan on working at least a little each day or kind of make a plan to work for everything. If you are not active in the course for 14 days or miss one module, you will be dropped from the course. Again, logging into the course um, doesn't count. You have to complete course content for it to count as participation. Um, this is a three credit hour course, so three credit hour of instruction time, take that what you will, and you should spend at least six hours on homework weekly. It may be more, it may be less, depending on uh, the assignment and your ability to work. I do request you have a backup of all your files. I recommend you have all your files um, on the cloud, which Google Drive is unlimited for Maricopa students, and a physical one as well. Um, you're welcome to read through the rest of this information because um, there will be a syllabus quiz. Next we have um, the course calendar. Now this, um, I always like to do a written calendar, sort of an idea of what's going on and how to pace ourselves for the rest of the semester. Um, the calendar may adjust with notice, so always confirm everything with Canvas. Canvas will be correct. But this would be a good idea to think, see, you know, hey, I know that I have um, a work event the week of the 28th, and I see that I have this assignment due. How can I adjust my schedule or even ask, you know, work around it as well? So this is good to prep yourself to see how much work we're actually doing. Again, everything will grow and change as we move on through the semester. So we do have minimum tech computer and technology skills. So I do expect you to be able to use a computer, navigate the internet, know how to um, upload and download files off the internet, rename them, um, cut and paste, um, have some, a decent level of computer literacy. You do need to have um, access to a personal computer with internet access. So we are looking um, computers with multimedia capabilities. You cannot complete this class on your phone or tablet. It has to be a computer. Um, if we do have virtual meetings, we need to have access to webcam speakers and microphone for virtual meetings if you want to meet with me outside of class. Um, keep in mind, you may need a backup, so maybe your uh, family, friend, roommate has a computer you can use if, say, your computer does not work. We also have computers available at our Maricopa Community College libraries for you to use. Um, if you have a Chromebook, the Adobe Creative Cloud will not work on it. So keep that in mind, if you have a Chromebook, you may have to find a different computer to access. If you have difficulty locating a laptop, a computer, please email me and um, we have campus, uh, uh, campus abilities to help. I do recommend you use uh, Chrome or Firefox or Safari, just a new and updated version of a web browser. Um, you may have to download Adobe Acrobat Reader or Java to access some of the websites. Um, you may have to use some word processing software, so um, Microsoft Office is free for Maricopa students and employees. Google Docs is connected to your Google Drive account. Open Office just as well. I have not used it, but I'm sure it's great. Adobe Creative Cloud, which we provide to students, and Grammarly, which I love, is free for Maricopa Community College students. Um, student email, so again, you need to be using your student email. I cannot accept anything out of your personal email. Uh, check your student email daily. Make it part of your daily routine. You know, you wake up, check your email, check your Maricopa email, check your TikTok, whatever, you know, check it all. And there's also a Canvas phone app and some information on that as well. Just giving you the highlights. So we're going to go over the required materials and technologies. We, again, there's no required textbook. There's recommended textbooks. Um, so for you need to have access to a camera, a digital SLR or mirrorless camera. Your camera should be capable of creating a raw file format. 
So if you are just using a simple digital point and shoot for uh, your first introductory to photography, we need to have more of a uh, camera that can do the raw format digital SLR mirrorless. You will not be successful using a camera phone. I know camera phones are, um, can do a lot these days, but you need to have a mirrorless camera or digital SLR, no camera phones. You'd have storage media for your digital camera. So whether that be a compact, compact flash card or um, SD cards, you need to have some sort of storage media. I recommend having multiples and to format them when you're complete every time. You need to have a USB digital storage device. And I'll talk about this more in depth in just two moments. And you need to have a workstation or laptop with a dedicated GPU capable of running Adobe Creative Cloud applications. No Chromebook. We will give you access to the Adobe Creative Cloud and you need to have access to Canvas. Now, we're gonna talk about file storage and I, I'm a big fan of file storage. So it's important that you back up all of your files and for all of your finished projects and in, pers you know, everything that you do. I save every single photo, even the bad ones, even the test ones, the ones that are out of focus and blurry for everything that I shoot. You never know, I may need it. So I always keep them backed up. You should have it backed up in more than one place, your personal computer and um, your portable hard drive um, are good. Uh, Adobe does provide an online storage space if you have the subscription. Uh, Amazon Photos is free and unlimited, but I don't think it's as accessible to access all of your stuff, but it's a good backup. Um, don't save anything on your me camera's memory card. Uh, you should save that for taking pictures. You should uh, format that memory card every time. And then if you are using a portable hard drive, you will need to partition it if you're using Macs and Windows. If you're only using Macs, that's fine, but if you're coming to campus, we use all Macs, so you need, if you're a Windows user, you will need to partition that hard drive. Um, there's a couple different options for that USB removable storage. So you can have a USB drive, which is those small little USB discs, uh, you know, flash drives. I would say get at least 16 gigs, um, get more. Uh, flash drives are really cheap, which is great. However, I have lost so many flash drives, so I don't recommend them as a primary source of storage um, because I lose them a lot. And then you have the hard drive. So there is an external hard drive which has moving parts. These are uh, what you may commonly see as a hard drive. Uh, some um, you just plug into your computer, some need to plug into a power source, but they're great for storing uh, data. I carry mine everywhere I go. I do not store files I work on on my laptop because I will work on multiple computers and a computer may die, so I want that physical storage. There's also SSD, solid state drives, which are far superior. Um, they work like the external drives, but they're way more expensive and they write data a little differently. Um, but please look at purchasing some sort of uh, USB storage data and always back up your data. So if you lose your files, you have them backed up somewhere. Um, and I encourage uh, at least two physical and one digital. Here's some information about how to partition drives if you are needing to make your drive work on both Mac and PC. Um, here's some information about recommended materials and technologies. Uh, these things can be helpful, but they are not required for a success in this class. Technical help or ten student support. So if you have questions on how Canvas is working, contact, watch these Canvas videos, or you can click this help right here. Technical and technology support. So let's say you're having trouble submitting something to Canvas. Screenshot but you'll need to contact the help desk ASAP. And this is Phoenix College's help desk and they will be able to help you way better than I am to triage Canvas issues. 
a lot of times there might be stuff with Adobe that uh, you may have questions about. There's only so much I can answer, but you may need to contact Adobe Technical Help. Again, they can triage it much better than I can. We also have other student support services. So if you need tutoring, advising, um, let's say you need that laptop, you need to contact student support services and they will be able to assist you. So this will go on to the lecture, but I'm going to go back to our module page. And to complete this module, um, you'll watch in the lecture, there's um, course introductions, syllabus quiz, a questionnaire, the Google Drive demo, and then your first assignment, your white balance exercise. If you have any questions about this class or um, just want to talk to me further, feel free to send me an email or a Canvas messenger, but I'm happy that you are in this class and I hope you have great success.